All right, I'm here at Fox Creek. This is uh, Route 603. So I'm actually doing it backwards today. Instead of going back to where I got off yesterday, I went down to where I would have ended today and I'm hiking northbound. So I'm going backwards. It's just supposed to be a little bit easier of a hike. There's a trail here too. Um, but anyway, start in the dark for a little bit. Um, it's always good to get a good start. All right, well, um, okay. Well, it's dark right now, so it should get light here, hopefully for a little bit, but um, boy, that parking lot was really icy. I didn't bring uh, the micro spikes with me or the, the uh, Brock and Rob let me borrow because the snow hadn't been very bad. But boy, was, that parking lot was icy, but right here it's not too bad. All right, well, time to start the hike. So I will catch y'all when it gets to blood daylight. Well, the nice thing is, for the most part, it doesn't look like the trail has any snow on it. So it was just the parking lot, I guess. <clears throat> just from, I guess, the, top, uh, the cars <sighs> made it wet. So <clears throat> that's why it was icy. That's why most of, time, most of the time it's just minor spikes just aren't very helpful down south because it's if unless it's like a layer of ice, you know, it'll just get the spikes will just get filled with snow and dirt and leaves, which is usually why I'm not in them. But all right, huh? It's so dark, but. Oh, you can't see it from here, but I saw the uh, sun starting to rise on the other side of that mountain. Here comes the sun, Ooh, darling. Here comes the sun. And I say it's all right. Mm -hmm. <laughs> all right. The sun is coming up. I was able to turn my head on the Still some snow hanging on some places. You'll probably stay around since it's supposed to snow Christmas Day here. It's supposed to get even more snow, I think, in Virginia. Well, it's an exciting day. Not as exciting as tomorrow, but it's Summit Eve. Yay! So today is just 13.8 miles, and I've already done a few miles. I've already climbed my first climb today. Um, I'm going down now. I think I have one more climb. I don't think it's too bad. I mean, I've got like little, you know, it's the age You climb up and down all But I mean, like, climb. Like a thousand foot or a fifteen foot or whatever. Oh, anyway, so hopefully I can get done pretty early. So I actually got started earlier than I was expecting. So I think I'm gonna be done sooner than I thought. I'm not gonna stop and take a lunch or anything. I'm just gonna hike and eat bars while I hike. And I brought another protein shake. So. But besides the fact that it's Summit Eve. Jerry is coming today, this afternoon, after he gets off work. So good to see Jerry today. Yay! And then the awesome part is he's going to hike with me tomorrow on my last day. I'm so crazy. Um, I mean, it's like I don't want to get ahead of myself and jinx myself. So like I don't want to be saying anything yet, but I mean, hopefully everything will go smoothly today good and tomorrow will be good. 
supposed to be a pretty nice day tomorrow. I mean, for this time of year. <laughs> so, just cross your fingers for me that everything goes well. So I can finish this thing. It's been a long time and, you know, you start doubting, or I start doubting, like, whether or not it's going to happen. You know, is it really going to actually happen? So, well, anyway, got some snow right now. Um, got some snow, got parts that aren't snowing. But anyway, all right. some wind right now but it's supposed to taper off um late morning so it's not too bad though pretty high up there the winds are so it's good well that looks like a bear print to me saying she saw a hunter yesterday and he said that the you know they use dogs for the bears uh, alert this so they uh so hunters do, only use the dogs for bears and i guess they treat the bear but anyway um and he was telling her that yeah they they uh saw three bears or got treed three bears something like that so the bears are out i mean they're here <laughs> I mean, obviously, bears don't hibernate, so it's not like they can't come out longer, or that they don't. They just, you know, aren't as likely to because there's not going to be as much food available, and it's cold. You know. Plus, there's hunters. <sighs> well, it comes to a trail junction. Six miles. Oh. Six miles? I can't believe. Sixteen was where Mount Rogers was. Heck! Right. I know I got to have more than six miles left today. Hmm, I don't know what that is then. Maybe it's a different part of. <laughs> yeah, no, I have 12 miles left. I guess it's to Dickey Gap, so I got you know, six miles to Dickey Gap. <sighs> 12 miles left today. But it's only 8 o'clock, so. Yep. It's a hurricane shelter. It's like some tan sites around here. side of the mountain is apparently completely blocked by the sun so it's been a lot of snow and um, it's so thin that it is actually kind of slick I could have probably used um, broccoli rocks yak yak tracks today for this section I mean they would have still gotten filled with leaves but it probably would have been helpful I've been stomping it and of course obviously using these and that does make a difference in health but it still makes it slow going Look over there, it's so dry. Get me over there. And it's sunny too, look. Why can't I be on that mountain? Look, it's so sunny over there. And it's all shady and cold over here. Oh well, at least it's snow anyway. over like three days I had I was carrying some yak tracks that uh, broccoli raw would be borrowed but I never used them because you know the ground just wasn't right for using them um, you know they would have just got filled with mud and dirt I mean mud and leaves and snow and stuff 
it wasn't really what I would call icy. Uh, just slick enough to be annoying. Um, but today I probably could have used it for that little bit. But that's okay. I made it over it. Just had to go a little slower. <sighs> I just want to get to the sandy side of the mountain. It's there. I see it. It's been so gloomy over here. But the sky is beautiful. So uh, maybe eventually I'll see it. I mean, it's still kind of early. So once the sun's up in the sky, then it'll probably see me. <sighs> I like my sun. The beautiful sky. It's pretty. It's kind of right there. Yeah, go away. Get out of here. Yeah, clouds, go away until I'm done. And when I'm done with my eye, <laughs> do whatever you want. I'm not asking much. That's just tomorrow. Well, the trail has been rerouted. Follow blue blazed. Okay. Uh. Good. I better take a picture of this. I guess I would be going that way. I guess, but instead I'm going this way. See, there is actually white blazes. Yay. <laughs> Looks like they put a white blaze on that tree. funny though because I came down this way to go back up that way. It seemed like they could have made a path. Oh well. It's okay. I did look on Go Hook and it, this is the official route because when it's a blue blaze Go Hook has the line blue and when it's the AT it's red. So this one is red and the other one is now blue. I should just make it official trip. Official 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 forever because um i don't mind some row walking every now and then <laughs> makes it easier it kind of makes you wonder was it easier for them to make all these signs than just to fix the bridge <laughs> i don't know i don't know how much work it takes to fix a bridge maybe more than i think gravelly to me that looks paved still walking the road I actually have more top more top there right, this is digging up Huh. 
Good advice. Entering Raccoon Branch Wilderness. Okay, sunny on the side and no snow. Just waiting for easier hiking. I am glad to be back on the trail and not road walking. The road walking is kind of starting to hurt my feet. Plus, I was going up on it, so I don't know. Sometimes it's, e you know, it feels easier, but no, it feels very easy to. Snow on this side of the mountain. Hopefully, it doesn't last because it slows me down a lot. And it's not even like it's, uh, I couldn't, uh, you know, the yak tracks don't even help. <sighs> but hopefully, it'll last. Man, that man was uh, up on top. Of, I'm headed down now, so I got to the top of my second up. And that wind was so bad. I actually took a few layers off because I was getting so hot and I was really cold, but it's not as bad now. It's a little cooler right here because of the shade. Anyway, all right, I need both my poles. Lots of snow. It's kind of funny how like all the snow here and then like it's so dry over there. Yeah, I think that's dog tracks actually. I wonder what the other ones look like. That's definitely dog tracks, I'm pretty sure. Dog and people tracks, that is. Yeah. Still a lot of snow. Alright, that way it's Trimpy's shelter. Alright, well, I can't read the sign. Run this way. I don't think I have much um, too many miles left maybe a couple miles I have exactly two miles left maybe two miles oh no I had a hard time like really thinking about what tomorrow is today just because um you know, with the snow and stuff, I had to kind of focus on that. And, um, truthfully, I had this, like, anxiety since yesterday. Like, just thinking about wanting everything to go okay, you know, so that I can finish tomorrow. But two miles. Two miles left today. walking. Look, I just heard a road. Well, there is a road. Yeah, there's, yeah, I think I'm coming up on a road, a slab road or something like that. Just 
I just have a little, just a tiny bit over a mile left today. And then tomorrow is summer day and I have 9.8 miles left. I'll be home for Christmas. You can count on me. I didn't know if I could do it, you know? I didn't know if I could make it home for Christmas. I'm just so happy. I'm just so happy. Even if I'm crying, it's happy tears. Now this is Slap Town Road. That looks like a pretty decent road. All right. Not, not very far at all. Less than a mile. A little short climb here and then down to the parking lot. So today's video is labeled 200, but I'll just go and tell you all about that. It's not right because in the beginning of my videos, I uh, was counting zeros like in the number, and then like halfway through the hike or something, I quit counting. So I'm going to have to redo my numbers. Kind of what I want to anyway. But I'm gonna do a whole video where I like go over, uh, you know, how many days I hiked, how many zeros I took, and um, I got this really nice National Geographic AT map, and I'm also gonna kind of go over like my my hike, like how I did my hike visually. <laughs> so yeah, so that'll be a, definitely a video I'm gonna have. I'm gonna do kind of yeah, soon. I'm, I'm done with the trail. After tomorrow. Well, I am done. I'm back here at the road. Um, like 30 minutes early. Um, better than being late though. So, at least it's sunny over here near the road. So, that'll be good. Yeah, this is where I got picked up at yesterday. That's a nice sign. Look who showed up! Hey! Hi, Jerry! My Gretchen. So we're out here at this Mexican restaurant enjoying some it's dinner. incredible. <laughs> so we have, look, mmm, shrimp, scallops, fajitas. So tomorrow is summer day! <laughs> and now Jerry's stuck with me forever. Yes. <laughs> yes. All right. Go down tomorrow. Bye.